Say hello there. I love the history and the etymology of sports words. So what I've done for you now, I've investigated the meanings and the history and the etymologies of a lot of sports words that we use in everyday language. I hope you enjoy it. Ole! The Moors of Northern Africa ruled the area of the Iberian Peninsula, known as Spain, for nearly 700 years. Their language is Arabic, and its influence on the Spanish language is significant. One of those words is ole! Ancient traditions amongst many Moors were to have great celebrations that included dancing. When a dancer performed at the highest levels of grace and intensity for that moment, they were believed to be vessels through which Allah was acting and the moment allowed the witnesses to see a glimpse of Allah's power through the artist. So it was customary for the Moors of Northern Africa centuries ago to exclaim, Allah! Over time and many centuries this became Ole, and is used not only in the barbaric activity, and I won't call it a sport, of bullfighting, but it is also used by spectators celebrating beautiful sport. The Brazilian crowds were the first to use it whilst watching Garincha, the word sport comes from the old French word desport, meaning leisure. The word muscle has its roots from the Latin word musculus, which itself is a diminutive of mus, meaning mouse. Some people used to describe muscles as little mice moving about under the skin. The bicep is a muscle that quite literally means two-headed, from bi, two, and seps, which itself comes from the Latin caput, meaning head. A volley in 1570 meant the firing of a number of guns at the same time. The French word volley was based on the Latin volare, meaning to fly. A volley in sport eventually became hitting the object before it had finished flying. I've included the word monocep because we've got bicep and tricep and quadricep, which you will hear about in these two films. The monocep, there are a couple of them in the body, but no one talks about these. The sphincter muscle is one of these, and it only has one head. The word tournament has its roots from Old French and the word tournament, which was a contest between groups of knights on horseback. Spectator comes from the Latin word spectator, which derives from specto, meaning to watch or to look at. The name Colosseum is believed to be derived from a colossal statue of Nero that once stood nearby. It comes from the Greek word colossus, meaning gigantic statue. A hat-trick in sport is commonly getting three or something. Three goals in football, being struck out in baseball three times in a game, three consecutive motor racing wins, in marbles hitting all the marbles in a single turn, etc., etc., the hat-trick comes originally from cricket, when a bowler would get three wickets from three consecutive balls. A long time ago, the bowlers would all wear caps, and the bowler, in celebration of the three outs in consecutive balls, would perform a trick with the hat as a way of celebration. The funny bone in your arm gets its nickname because of that funny feeling you get after you hit it. The bone itself is called the humerus, hence the funny bone. Running down the inside part of your elbow is a nerve called the ulnar nerve, and this is part of the reason why things hurt so much when you bang your funny bone. The word discus. The Greeks threw discos, while the Romans threw discus. Both discos and discus refer to various round, flat objects, and were also used to describe the face of the sun. At the root, of the Greek discos is the meaning to throw or to cast. Calf, as in baby cow, and calf, as in our lower leg, probably come from the same root. One of the roots listed for calf is to swell. The shape of the swelling from pregnancy and the shape of the lower leg have similar shapes. The calf comprises of two muscles, the gastrocnemius and the soleus. These muscles meet at the Achilles tendon, which attaches directly to the heel. Any leg or foot motion uses these muscles. I'm not sure why we're talking about this, but the gastrocnemius, which 
obviously is part of your calf, comes from the Greek for stomach and leg. The quadricep has four muscles making it up and their heads attach in four places. The quadricep muscles are your rectus femoris, your vastus lateralis, your vastus medialis and your vastus intermedius. The word sponsor sees its roots from sponsus, the past participle of spondere, meaning to give assurance or promise summonly. A prize comes from the old French word prix, meaning price, value, worth or reward. This is a word I know a lot about, the word win. Win comes from the Old English winnen, meaning to fight, endure or to struggle. Lactic acid is the main acid produced in the souring of milk by bacteria. Although the lactic acid produced by bacteria and that produced by animals, humans as well, are molecular mirror images, lactic gets its name from the Latin word lac and its genitive lactis, meaning milk. The word yoga is derived from the Sanskrit yuj, meaning to join or to unite. Recuperate is from the Latin word of recuperare, meaning to get again. Athlete comes from the Latin word athleta, who was a wrestler or a combatant in public games. Athletes in Greece, in ancient Greece, were prize fighters and contestants in the games. The word decathlon was formed from the Greek word deca, meaning ten, and athlon, meaning contest or prize. The word ambidextrous is derived from the Latin words ambi, meaning both, and dexter, meaning right or favourable. Thus, ambidextrous is literally both right or both favourable. A heptathlon is a track and field combined event, contest made up of seven events. The name derives from the Greek word hepta, meaning seven, and athlon, once again meaning sport or contest. A competitor in the heptathlon is referred to as a heptathlete. Lose. Now this is quite an interesting one for me because I've heard all about this word. It's the word that describe others when I play them. But having no first-hand knowledge of it, I thought I would investigate it a little bit. To lose comes either from the Old English word losian, meaning to be lost or perish, and or the word loss, which means destruction. These in turn may well have come from the Old Norse word loss, meaning the breaking up of an army. The word etymology, as we're talking about the etymology of a lot of sports words, the word etymology derives from the Greek word etumon, meaning true sense or sense of a truth. And any word with the suffix ology means the study of. According to Scottish golf law, the term caddy is derived from the French word la cadde. This term means the boy or the youngest of the family. Golf is usually taken as an alteration of a Middle Dutch word, kolver, meaning stick, club or bat. For is from the Old English meaning before or in front of, used in other words like forecourt. In golf, for is shouted to warn others in front of you of wayward shots. A long time ago, in golf, a four caddy was used to go in front of the player to watch where the ball had finished up. Head across to my website, tavclaudane.com, for the best in sports facts, quizzes, quotes, trivia, podcasts, and much, much more to do with sport. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you are the first to know about any brand new videos that I'll be uploading regularly to YouTube.